If you're standing, I'd like you to take a seat. I have some bad news for you. The Star Wars Hotel, Galactic Star Cruiser, is closing. All right. I know we've made fun of the Galactic Star Cruiser. I get it. Waste of time, waste of money. I don't have enough money to go. I'm a poor plebe. I can't afford it. It's $6,000 for two nights. I get it. And, uh, you know, from what I understand, it's focused on Ray and the new trilogy and all that. Okay. There's a lot going on here. So after about a year and a half of operation, the Galactic Star Cruiser, the Star Wars creme de la creme, the place where you could buy like a $10,000 drink. Maybe it was 5000 I forget. We've covered all of it. By the way, I'm the man you may know as Z, and I'm here to cover all of your Star Wars news, reviews, and more from Our Reviews Will Kill You. But I'm here to talk to you about it. It's, it's actually kind of a sad day. It's kind of interesting, too, because what you have here is a very interesting financial dynamic. You have this, like, super-duper high-end experience that people were willing to pay for, but not enough people were willing to pay for. Uh, what's interesting, they've already updated their website. So here's the Galactic Star Cruiser, where you could go out and cosplay and hang out with your favorite characters. It's a very expensive, exclusive event. But after about a year and a half, it's going to close, and we'll, we'll get into more detail. And it's interesting because people seem to be making certain things political, and I'm here to point out the facts to you, people. Just the facts. Keep the facts right here. I wish you could hang out with Chewbacca. It'll be very sad. But they've already started saying the final voyage for the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser will take place September 28th through September 30th. We're so proud of all the cast members and Imagineers who brought the Star Wars Galactic Cruiser to life and look forward to delivering experience for guests during the remaining voyages coming over the next couple months. Um, they're going to discuss anybody who booked one past September 30th. And they're pausing all new bookings. I'm sure they're going to try to squeeze out as as much cash as they possibly can. You know, it, in some ways, I'm kind of sad because, A, it was fun to make fun of. <laughs> Do you remember the captain? Yeah, the captain was kind of ridiculous. Um, but you know what? It really is a thing for kids to share. And you don't often get to do like an immersive environment like this where you have people dressed up. Like it seemed like it was kind of fun. Like maybe I'm just jealous and I don't have enough money. I'm Poe. I am not Poe Dameron. I'm Poe as in I'm Poe to Poe to afford this. I cannot afford it. <laughs> Alcohol and specialty beverages not included. This was very expensive. And I heard the food was just okay. But still, like, it's kind of... I'm sure all of us Star Wars fans would have loved to go do this. And if it, was, if it was less money, you would have had more of us doing it. But you just priced yourself out. You know, your story begins aboard the Holocon Cruiser. Well, Holocon? Holocon? I don't know how to pronounce it. Doesn't matter. Remember when they changed all the canon to make it as if uh, Han and Leia got married on this ship? <laughs> Yeah, they tried to build an entire thing around it. And that's what happens when you get a giant uh <laughs> you get a you know, giant corporation trying to make a lot of cash. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's it's a whole thing. Like I said, sorry I'm laughing, but yeah, get it, it is very sad. It's it's a whole thing here, right? Big experience. You could you could go see the chick who was singing in the thing, you know, in the place where you buy the drinks premium boutique experience but what they ended up doing I, th I think they just a they priced themselves out they didn't under they overestimated the amount of people who would be interested in doing this at that particular price point point. and um i think 
so like the cheapest was like 4800 to 6000 a person for the immersive two night experience depending on how many people i think i remember it was like two children and three adults <laughs> for $6000 I, uh, the, <laughs> CNN, thank you, CNN, asked why they're closing the attraction. It was a business decision, and they have nothing to share on this time. Does this fall on Kathleen Kennedy? I don't know. Lucasfilm seems to be struggling. There hasn't been a movie put out in several years, it, and Mandalorian had it had the worst ratings that it's it's probably ever had. Disney Star Wars is really struggling. If you actually catch Film Threat, what a great channel, Chris Gore. Is doing, they're putting Star Wars on trial, Star Wars Disney on trial. It's actually kind of fascinating. I think they already finished it. Maybe I'm a little behind in the times, but you should catch it because it's cool. Film threat. Those guys are great. Anyway, what I find also fas fascinating is the political bent on this because there are some people who are trying to frame that the fight in Florida with um, Ron DeSantis is somehow connected to this as as in disney is going to punish florida and ron DeSantis because they're canceling a one billion dollar florida expansion to their campus yet what no one seems to be pointing out is uh yeah disney's losing a lot of money i'm sure that they lost a ton of money due to the pandemic and i'm sure they lost a lot of money um they had several major bombs that came out recently. We covered those, Strange World, Lightyear, all those things. And they're going to try to position this as this is them fighting. This is It says right here, the announcement comes a week after Disney uh, CEO Bob Iger said in an ongoing dispute with, uh, with Ron DeSantis raised questions about whatever's going on there. First of all, they have their own 40 square mile acre property that they run themselves. That is just, they run everything. It's self-governing. It's It was separate from the state of Florida, which Ron Santos seems to have closed those loopholes, something you couldn't get anymore. Uh, but the closure of the Galactic Star Cruiser seems to say to me that it has more to do with financials than it does has have to do with a political fight with some governor. You know, obviously, Florida is an important state, but there, this isn't happening because of that. This is because they're losing lots of money. They're making poor financial decisions. Galactic Star Cruiser was amongst them. Um, not letting the regular public go in there and the hardcore, you know, Star Wars fans go in there, making it too difficult for us to go. I wanted to snuggle with a Wookiee. I wanted Wookiee cookies. I wanted to be able to be tucked in by Chewbacca or his friends and family. And you made it too expensive for the regular plebs. And guess what? This ain't Dubai, baby. <laughs> People in America are hurting a little bit and they can't afford what you were putting out. So after a year and a half of an experiment of the brand new greatest immersive experiences, they are closing the Galactic Star Cruiser. What do you think? Do you think? Do you feel my great sadness where you wish you could have experienced it? Maybe not the Ray parts, but maybe the other parts. Maybe you wanted to pretend to be a galactic smuggler. Maybe you wanted to smuggle them plums. Maybe you wanted to be a Sith Lord. Maybe you wanted to be a Jedi. I don't know. But now you're not going to get the chance. And here's the problem. Guess what, folks? Regardless of your political affiliations, Disney ain't going anywhere. And guess what? They own the things we love. They own Aliens. They own Star Wars. I'm pretty sure they own Predator. They own Marvel. And you can only vote with your pocketbook. And when they make poor financial decisions, they're going to pay for it. But guess what? At the end of the day, they still own these products and these intellectual properties that we grew up with and, and that we love. So think about it. Just, just think about it. But let me know in the comments below. What do you really think? Are you sad? Would you have liked to go? I, I, I frankly am, am kind of sad. I, I wish I could have gone. I can't afford it, but I would have liked to go. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for listening. Um, full-length audio podcast we have one it's free to you or it's on stitcher spotify itunes all those crazy places and more 
We usually rumble when rumble works properly, but it's not as good as YouTube where we live stream 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Friday nights. Come join us. Join the party. We have a lot of fun. You're going to have a lot of fun. Come join us. Let me know what you think down below. We love you. Thank you. But as for myself, I'm on to the next one.